The opening scene features a handsome blind man named Ren Haoming, who is the general manager of the Ren Group. He is also the chairman's eldest son. A flashback shows that his father forced him to marry Ruan Chintian, the eldest daughter of their rival company, the Ruan Group. He also warned Hao Meng not to let his bride's family know about his blindness. Likewise, Chin Tian's stepmother, Chin Yun Chu, forced her to marry Hao Meng, threatening to kill her hospitalized father if she didn't comply. The scene returns to the present where Hao Meng enters the engagement party. He is accompanied by his assistant, who guides him through the various obstacles along the way. Following this, Hao Ming and Chin Tian walk up to the stage, where the guests begin gossiping about Hao Ming's blindness. The couple disregards this and proceeds to exchange their rings, but unfortunately, Hao Ming, owing to his blindness, cannot locate her finger. In the ensuing mess, he accidentally drops his ring. Fortunately, before things can get out of hand, Chin Tian quickly picks it up, and the officiate manages to handle the situation. After the event, the two return to his place where Hao Ming mentions the agreement signed prior to the engagement. The agreement states that Chin Tian must obey everything he says, and she is basically his servant. It also mentions that if she violates those terms, she will be fined 50 million won. Chin Tian, who realizes that her stepmother is behind all of this, is forced to accept. She then goes to her room, but before she can rest, she is tasked with cooking crayfish for him. Chin Tian expresses her fear of the living crayfish, but Hao Ming dismisses her. In the next scene, Chin Tian begins gathering all of the necessary ingredients on the table. Hao Ming inadvertently drinks a spicy sauce, mistaking it for water. Unable to stand the heat, he haphazardly seeks water, and when he goes near the crayfish, one of them bites his finger. This sends Hao Ming into a state of shock and he yells for assistance, but Chin Tian is afraid to touch it. After several attempts, she dips his hand in salt water, finally releasing his hand. Meanwhile, Chin Tian's twin sister, Ruan Shinshin, and their mother are at the hospital discussing Mr. Ruan with the doctor. They want to sedate him to the point where he will never wake up. However, Mr. Ruan's caretaker notices this and immediately calls Chin Tian to notify her. The latter is taken aback and she decides to do something about it. But at the same time, she is asked to give Hao Ming a bath. Chin Tian instantly declines the task, but when she is reminded of the consequences, she reluctantly complies. Chin Tian then helps Hao Ming in taking off his clothes and guiding him into the bathtub. After a while, he asks for the bath salt, and when Chin Tian tries to reach for it, she accidentally slips and falls inside the bathtub with him, resulting in an awkward situation for both of them. That night, Chin Tian is sitting alone reflecting on the past. It is revealed that her stepmother secretly replaced her as the bride instead of her twin sister, and the Ren family is completely unaware of this. Shortly after, Hao Ming hands her a book containing business client information and instructs her to memorize it as they'll be attending a business party the following day. Chin Tian passively agrees and starts memorizing it, but she soon becomes tired and falls asleep on the couch. Early in the morning, she is awakened by three makeup artists hired by Hao Ming. They quickly get her ready and make her look stunning. Just then, Hao Ming walks in with his assistant who compliments her beauty and mentions that the two make an ideal couple. After this, they go to the business party where Chin Tian assists him in meeting several clients and chairmen of other reputable companies. Coincidentally, Hao Ming's younger brother Ho Xuan and Xin Xin are at the same party. They approach their respective siblings and start making fun of their appearance and lifestyle. This expectedly annoys our protagonists, and they decide to leave. But just then, Hao Xuan pushes a chair towards his blind brother. Fortunately, Chin Tian notices this and quickly defends him, breaking her shoes in the process. After they return home, an impressed Hao Ming finally starts behaving nicely to her, making her feel good. In the next scene, Chin Tian and Hao Ming's assistant Song heads towards the hospital where her father is being treated. Upon arriving, they discover that her father's oxygen supply has already been unplugged. Enraged, Chin Tian decides to transfer her father to another hospital without informing anyone. Afterwards, she thanks Song for his assistance, but the latter claims that he should be the one thanking her because Hao Ming has begun to smile since she came into his life. Song also reveals info about a past accident in which Hao Ming was hit by a car, causing him to lose his sight. The next day, Hao Xuan comes to see his brother and demands a precious black gold pass card, but Hao Ming believes he doesn't qualify for it yet. This enrages Hao Xuan, and as usual, he starts humiliating his brother for his blindness. When Chin Tian notices this, she cleverly turns off the lights and makes him experience blindness, prompting him to leave. That night, Hao Ming tries to initiate a conversation with Chin Tian, but she doesn't respond. He walks closer to her and learns that she is already asleep. He finds it adorable, 
so he gently carries her to bed. In her dream, Chintian mentions her father and unconsciously pulls Hao Ming's hand, causing him to kiss her accidentally. In the morning, when she finds herself in Hao Ming's bed, she anxiously inquires if anything happened between them. Hao Ming just smiles and says no. Just then, the doorbell rings, and it's Chin Tian's stepmother and sister. The moment they enter the house, the greedy stepmother distracts Chin Tian in her conversation, allowing Xin Xin to sneak into her room and steal her jewelry designs. After they leave, Chin Tian wonders why they came for such a short time. She begins to investigate and finally learns that Xin Xin is introducing new jewelry designs at a press conference. Worried, she quickly checks her secret box, only to find it empty. This is when Chin Tian realizes that her twin sister stole it. So, she angrily proceeds to confront her at the press conference. However, by the time she reaches there, Hao Ming is already confronting Xin Xin, who is unable to defend herself. After some basic questions, he exposes that she copied someone else's design, prompting the audience to yell at her. Because of this, Hao Ming is unable to save his company from a massive loss. He decides to commemorate the event by drinking with his business client, but ends up having one too many. He then returns home drunk, and Chin Tian helps him onto the couch where he can rest. A few moments later, she is in the middle of a shower when Hao Ming asks for water. Believing that he can't see anything at all, Chin Tian goes to him wearing a towel. But Hao Ming does have some blurry vision. He slowly approaches her to see if he's dreaming, creating yet another awkward situation between them. Elsewhere, Hao Xuan and Xin Xin are seen in bed together, and they appear to be plotting against their siblings. They devise a strategy in which Xin Xin pretends to be Qin Qian in order to shift Hao Ming's business deal to Hao Xuan's subsidiary. When Hao Ming learns of this the next day, he confronts Qin Tian angrily. To make matters worse, her stepmother calls to inform her that the work is done. Qin Tian tries to prove her innocence, but she is disappointed when Hao Ming doesn't trust her. Later that night, he instructs his assistant to review the CCTV footage to see if Qin Tian went out that day. When Song confirms that she was home, Qin Tian is finally proven innocent. So, Hao Ming approaches her and apologizes. The two then discuss the matter at hand and suspect that Hao Xuan and Xin Xin are behind it. The next day, Hao Xuan and his business client meet to settle the stolen deal, but just as the contract is about to be signed, Hao Ming and Qin Tian show up. Hao Ming, who is smarter than his younger brother, shows the client some new jewelry designs, which impresses him. As a result, the client cancels the contract with Hao Xuan and enters into a new one with Hao Ming. Enraged, Hao Xuan returns to Xin Xin and reveals the location of the hospital where her father is being treated. The latter immediately sends a thug to the location. Meanwhile, Qin Tian visits the hospital to check on her father's recovery, but she can't find him, which worries her. A few moments later, she hears someone enter the room, so she quickly hides behind the curtain. It turns out that Qin Xin and the thug are there to kidnap her father. When they don't find him there, Qin Xin calls Hao Xuan, letting him know about the situation. Shortly after they leave, Song arrives at the scene and informs Qin Tian of her father's whereabouts. He then drives her to another hospital, where he finds Hao Ming caring for her father. It is revealed that he was already aware of Hao Xuan's plan, so he shifted Mr. Ruan before they could reach him. After learning about all this, Qin Tian is overwhelmed and hugs Hao Ming to express her gratitude. In the next scene, Qin Tian is seen working on her jewelry design when the lights suddenly go off. She seems scared of the dark, so she immediately summons Hao Ming. The latter directs her to the power switch and then expresses that he likes darkness because when the lights go out, he is just like other people. Saying this, he approaches Qin Tian, and the two end up kissing. Meanwhile, Hao Xuan and Qin Xin, who deliberately cut the power supply, sneak into Hao Ming's room and steal the black gold card from his drawer. The following morning, Qin Tian's thoughts are preoccupied with Hao Ming, and she wonders if she is in love with him. However, she is also concerned about the swap because Qin Xin was supposed to be Hao Ming's fiance. Later that day, Hao Ming and Qin Tian attend a meeting called by his father. The purpose of the meeting is to promote Hao Ming as a general manager in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the company. Everyone appears to be pleased with this, but at the same time, Hao Xuan enters, objecting to his father's decision. He accuses his brother of privately conspiring with outsiders to sell the company's shares at a low price. He even reveals that he has proof of it. Hao Ming is questioned by his angry father, but he chooses not to respond to the accusation. As a result, Hao Xuan wins, prompting Hao Ming to be suspended by the chairman. After the tense meeting, Hao Ming, Qin Tian, and Song drive back home, 
only to find their belongings packed and thrown outside. They then witness Shinshin celebrating her victory with a drink on the balcony. With nowhere else to go, Song offers them a temporary residence in his abandoned small house. Hao Ming feels guilty for dragging Qin Tian into this situation, so he allows her to return home, disregarding their contractual agreement. However, she is a good-hearted person who chooses to stay by his side even when the situation is dire. Qin Tian also comments that their current living arrangement is much better than the previous one. Hearing this, Hao Ming is grateful to have such a wonderful companion. Following this, she cleans the entire house before preparing a meal for him. As they eat, Qin Tian asks why he didn't defend himself against his brother, to which Hao Ming responds that winning over his brother won't bring him any satisfaction. The two then spend some intimate time together, sharing personal information and enjoying each other's company. Hao Ming also expresses his happiness at having her by his side. Their lovey-dovey conversation eventually leads to a passionate kiss. Upon waking the next morning, Qin Tian is astonished to find Hao Ming has already prepared breakfast for her. When she asks why he went through the trouble, Hao Ming responds that he did it for her. The couple is in the midst of a romantic conversation when Song pays them a visit. He provides them with shocking evidence which reveals that the person who caused Hao Ming's accident and made him blind is none other than Hao Xuan. After finding out about this, Hao Ming takes the evidence to his father's office and confronts his brother. When the father realizes this, he gets up in anger and slaps Hao Xuan hard. However, Hao Ming blames the old man for all of this, saying he was the one who raised them in such a way. He always encouraged the brothers to compete rather than support each other. Despite all that has happened, Hao Xuan is still determined to defeat his brother, so he pushes him, causing Hao Ming to hit his head against the table and collapse. In the following scene, we see Hao Ming, who is still unconscious and being treated at home. According to the doctor, he might be able to regain his vision after waking up. Qin Tian is thrilled to hear this news and decides to reveal the truth about their bride swap once he wakes up. Meanwhile, Xin Xin is annoyed that her most recent plan to take down her sister has failed. She has now started to think that Hao Xuan is a jerk. Regardless, she refuses to give up and concocts another plan to kidnap Qin Tian so that she can take her place as Hao Ming's fiance. Xin Xin hires two men who kidnap Qin Tian and transport her to an abandoned room. Then, Xin Xin disguises herself as her sister and goes to Hao Ming's place. She stays by his side and waits for him to wake up. After several days in a coma, Hao Ming finally regains consciousness. His eyesight is back and the first thing he sees is Xin Xin by his side. However, unaware of the swap, Hao Ming embraces Xin Xin and expresses how much he missed her. A few weeks pass by and Hao Ming recovers. He also starts going to work regularly. Seeing his excellent progress, his father decides to retire, leaving the entire company in Hao Ming's care. Elsewhere, Qin Tian is confined in a room where she is given little food and freedom. The entire day, she spends her time watching television. However, her mind is only occupied with thoughts of Hao Ming. She misses him dearly and wonders if he is okay. One day while watching TV, she is shocked to see her twin sister with Hao Ming. This finally makes her realize that the whole kidnapping was Xin Xin's plan all along. Qin Tian becomes extremely upset, but the revelation also gives her motivation to escape. So, she musters up some courage and strikes one of the captors with a chair, knocking him unconscious. After escaping from her kidnappers, she contemplates going to Hao Ming's place, but is hesitant about whether he will believe her. In the end, Qin Tian sadly returns to Song's small house, where she had been staying with Hao Ming. While there, she discovers a registration form for an upcoming jewelry competition that offers the winner an opportunity to debut their designs at Ren's group. However, knowing that Hao Ming will undoubtedly attend the competition event, Qin Tian decides to participate in order to demonstrate her abilities in front of him. She quickly fills out the form and submits it, along with her designs, to the competition's organizer. A few days later at the jewelry event, Hao Ming, Xin Xin, and the other investors are seen in the audience. The officiate then announces the winner is Princess Cici, who is actually Qin Tian wearing a white mask. Soon after, she reveals her true identity, shocking everyone, especially Xin Xin. However, Hao Ming does not seem shocked by this revelation, indicating that he was aware of the swap. Then, in front of the audience, Qin Tian exposes her evil sister and calls her a frog. After the emotional outburst, the entire audience applauds, and Hao Ming presents her with the victory award while saying, Long time no see. The two leave the stage together, but Xin Xin, who was defeated, starts pleading with Hao Ming. 
Shin Shin claims that she has been caring for him since he awoke from his coma and that she was supposed to be his actual fiance. Hao Ming dismisses her and admits that he knew about the swap from the moment he woke up from his coma because he didn't find a scar on her hand, like that of Qin Tian. He also admits to having ordered his assistant to check on the two sisters in order to uncover the truth. At last, he embraces Qin Tian in front of the audience, while Song reports Qin Qin to the police for all her crimes. The couple then decides to abandon their large villa and move back to Song's small place. Following this, the scene shifts to a few days later where we learn that Qin Tian's father has fully recovered. He is shown conversing with Song, expressing his happiness about Qin Tian's relationship. Later on, Hao Ming and Qin Tian are spending a romantic moment together when he asks her to close her eyes. Much to her surprise, he kneels, opens a ring box, and finally proposes to her. Though stunned at first, Qin Tian joyfully accepts his proposal, which leads them to share a passionate kiss. Elsewhere, Xin Xin and Hao Xuan are given a seven-year prison sentence and a fine for their crimes. The doctor who was involved with them is also punished. He has had his professional license revoked along with a hefty fine for illegal narcotic use. In the end, the lovebirds finally solidify their bond while the bad guys get what they deserve. 